dating my mother, and apparently I'm his daughter. Here we go. Temptation Tuesdays are back. I'm gonna kill him. And this season, you'll never guess where the twisted, tantalizing Tyler Perry trouble is going to go next. I need to know where my son is, or he's going to die. I love you so much. I can be better than him. You can't help everybody. This is your fault. Millions, Hannah. That's not yours. Tyler Perry. All right, have and have not been. Uh, I guess this is like what the one, two, I think the third promo. Oh, no, technically, this is like the second season seven promo with a lot of crazy scenes. So I think I'll label this one uh, season seven fall trailer breakdown. I don't know. But in any case, welcome, have and have not fans to. As the narrator said, a tantalizing, scandalous... Look, the narrator put it correctly, and I've said this before. This is reshoot territory. There's going to be some shit going down that even I didn't predict. That's why the last two episodes, I had a lot of OMG moments because I honestly did not see where the story was going. So, up front, there's a lot of things I probably will get incorrect, but at the same time, it... It's more fun because the show doesn't feel super predictable. So with that being said, make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you are new because last night we hit 135,000 subscribers. The channel reached 3,650 uploads. We'll hit 4,000. Oh, I, well, I don't know, but it would not surprise me if the channel reaches 4,000 plus videos by the end of the year. I'm just saying. Also, follow me on social media. Links are in the description, and I probably already said it, but I want to say it one more time. When you click that bell, select all. That way you get notified when I do live streams, uploads, community posts, YouTube stories, whatever. Now, let's get into it because we have a bunch of scenes to talk about. So, it looks like Derek is being arrested in Catherine's house, and Candace is actually telling Mitch about how Oh, yeah, the man my mother was seeing. It turns out that he's actually my father in reference to Derek. And Benny, I believe, is saying in a near, um, you know, in a voiceover, I'm going to kill him or I will kill him. I think that was Benny, which honestly makes the most sense because here it looks like Derek is driving up to Catherine's house and Benny's there waiting for him. And he kind of puts his hand on the hood of the truck. So it's almost like Benny's going to confront Derek. Now, what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is that instead of killing him or whatever, Benny is going to call the police, tell the police where Derek is. And that's probably why the cops roll up and they have Derek in handcuffs. At least that's what it looks like to me. Sure, it looks like Derek is still part of that life based on last night's episode. But I think this is going to be Benny's doing, in my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, we don't get any speaking lines from Conley and Charles, but we are we do see them laughing together. So further confirmation that Charles is in the season. I mean, but after seeing Landon and Oliver, I don't think there was any doubt that he would be in the season. Uh, we also get a non-speaking scene between Celine and Veronica standing there. Uh, looks like Alyssa. This is a scene from next week. Uh, she's taking off her dress in front of David, and we know that she's doing that because Leo searched her, and she's like, "Ooh, you want to search me too?" Uh, it looks like Cat Catherine is just, again, throwing more shade to Mama Rose, which, again, I believe is going to be in the next episode. It looks like she's putting her fingers in, like, a gun position and going, pew. And Mama Rose looks like this. I feel like there's going to be a mutual respect between those two. Like, I don't think they're going to like each other, but I think Mama Rose is actually going to um, be cool with somebody who stands their ground against her. Sure, that Officer Mitchell didn't stand too well against Vinny last night, but, you know, that's a different situation. Um, And this fool, Wyatt, it looks like he somehow, somehow escapes from the hospital. I guess he manages to pick his way out of the handcuffs and is able to just get the heck out of the hospital. I could be wrong, but it looks like he's running to Catherine's house at least that's what it looks like again I could be wrong but it also appears like he's in like a like a rundown place or a bar or a crack house and it looks like there's somebody standing over him and then Jim's voiceover is I need to know where my son is or he's going to die and remember in the last episode 
Catherine was like, I thought we straightened that all out in regards to Vinny, you know, having his throat cut by Wyatt. And Mama Rose is like, meh, that's what you think. So basically that implies that, you know, she's still not over Catherine's son stabbing her son. I apologize, guys. They are cutting grass for the fourth time near my window. I'm sorry. Well, I'm almost finished here. And then Veronica's in bed and David's like, I love you so much. So I guess next week when we see David and Alyssa go over to Veronica's house and she's with Benny, maybe David and Veronica go upstairs. At least that's what it looks like. So David and Veronica could be having sex, but I think there's some plan that David has in motion because I want to do another video on this, but maybe seeing that Erica video kind of reignited his anger towards Veronica for what she did, especially now that David knows that she actually loved him. That's what I think. And then speaking of random uh, bed scenes, I mean, jumping from one, you know, sex capade to another, looks like Justin comes up to wherever Madison and Jeffrey are and he says, I could do it better than him. So it seems like Jeffrey opens the door. Justin's there and he tries to slam it on him. And then, uh, man, can we just get away from this? And then there's another brief scene of Madison talking with Jeffrey saying that you can't help everybody. And that is a very true statement. But then it also looks like Tanner, I could be wrong, but Tanner, uh, Justin's brother, is attacking him. And it's someone who... I believe that's Justin's stunt double because he doesn't look like Justin in the face, but it does look like the scarring and bruises on the side of his face. That's supposed to be Justin. And then we're getting to the last few scenes where they do a speed blitz here. Veronica's going to get a gun from her closet. It looks like Benny and Mitch are chilling at the Malone bar, and we see Mama Rose, Benny, and the rest of the Malone crew walk in. Oh, boy. And Dave... Benny actually met Mama Rose before briefly when they were in the hospital after Quincy Jr. had been shot and he gave over the information about Warlock. So let's see how this goes. All right. And then David visits Jim in the hospital. They're cutting grass again. Um, then the final scene, Hannah and Candace. This is your fault. But it's millions, Hannah. That's not yours. They're still going on about that damn money. So overall, this is one heck of a trailer. So, we got eight episodes left, basically two months, because, you know, an episode per week, what, two months of material. Uh, the finale should be October 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see here. Yeah, October 20th should be the finale. So, with that being said, what are you most excited to see in the upcoming episodes of the Haves and the Have Nots based off this trailer? I don't know. I mean, it might actually live up to the deadliest season, even though technically they are um, introducing a lot of new secondary characters. So they might be the ones who get killed instead of main characters, but whatever. Same idea. But thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Um, just thank you to everyone who sent me the trailer super early. I could not be doing the video without you if you didn't send me the trailers this early. Um, like I said before, please subscribe. Come on now. We can do it. The show's back on the air. Let's make this channel blow up like never before. And uh, my birthday is Saturday, so I'd really appreciate liking the video, sharing it, and getting friends to subscribe. Or if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. 